Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you um, a confirmation that the Lord just gave me about the parable that I just did a video about regarding the ten virgins. Um, the last two weeks, guys, since the Lord gave me that word about Zerubbabel has been some of the most intense spiritual warfare that I've probably gone through in my entire walk. Um, on one hand, the Lord has been very present the last couple of weeks. He's really been blessing me, speaking to me, making his presence known, teaching me, downloading information and understanding about things that I never knew before. Um, he's just been very present. But on the flip side, it seems like every time I get an increase, there's always a stumbling block waiting for me around the corner, a stumbling block of fear, of doubt, questioning, you know, am I a false prophet? Um, did God really say, am I listening to the right voice? Um, am I being lied to? Am I a false teacher? Yada, yada, yada. And you always, as a YouTube content creator, uh, you always got those people in the comment section that echo the voice of the accuser. Um, and over the last two weeks, man, the spiritual battle has been intense, uh, really intense. And every time the Lord teaches me something or shows me something, there's always that doubt. There's always that, you know, did God really say that voice of the accuser in my in my ear, um, trying to get me to doubt, calling me a false prophet, a false teacher? Um, and today was one of those moments where I was just really, really down, questioning whether what the Lord gave me the other night about the ten virgins, that parable, was really from Him. Am I listening to the right voice? Am I hearing the right voice? Um, did God really say? And I'm sitting here in my car and I was rather emotional. It's been a really rough night. Um, really kind of questioning things. Because guys, I, I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> I don't want to be a false teacher, right? I don't want to be a false prophet. That's the last thing in the world that I want. I'd rather be dead um, than be a false prophet. I don't want to lead anybody astray. Um, and so I'm sitting here in my car and I have my Bible next to me. And I'm praying to the Lord, you know, God, you know, don't let me be a false teacher. You know, I need to hear your voice. I need you to talk to me. You know, am I in the right here? Am I in the wrong? And I'm just in a really bad place. And I have my Bible next to me. And I just, God is my witness. I just opened my Bible, okay? And I opened to John chapter 12, all right? Now, as far as I can recall, I don't remember reading this passage, at least not in recent memory. It certainly wasn't in my memory as something that I've read recently. Um, I don't remember this passage, um, and I certainly didn't have it in my memory when I was making that video the other day about the 10 virgins, but I open right here to John chapter 12, okay? And guys, I fully admit to you, you know, I've had people, you know, already mock me in my video about Zerubbabel because I admitted that I've never heard of Zerubbabel before. And they're like, well, what are you teaching for if you've never heard of Zerubbabel? If you don't know every passage in the Bible, if you don't know every scripture in every book, what are you teaching for? And Guys, I fully confess to you, I'm not a biblical scholar, okay? Um, I'm still learning. And uh, anything that I bring to you is not from me, all right? It's not my flesh. I, I, I fully admit to you, I don't know every single passage in the Bible. Um, and I'm not relying on my own smarts to understand any of this. And unfortunately, that's the problem with most of Christianity. You've got people trusting in their PhDs and their worldly knowledge and their their own fleshly wisdom in order to be able to understand the Bible. But the Bible is clear that the flesh accounts for nothing when understanding spiritual things. That apart from the Spirit of God, I don't care how smart you are, none of this is going to make any sense to you. It's the Spirit of God who teaches us these things. And I'm not particularly that smart of a person. Um, so it's certainly not my intelligence that's 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 getting me by, all right? So yeah, I fully admit that I don't know all of the scriptures and it's very possible that I've never read John chapter 12, um, or at least I, not in recent memory because I, I don't have this saved to memory. Um, and if you want to mock me and make fun of me for that, that's fine. My strength is in the Lord. It's not in me. It's not in my wisdom, my knowledge. So anything I bring to you is from him. It's not from me. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I will boast in my weakness and boast in the Lord. Um, before I'll boast in my fleshly wisdom and fleshly strength. And I think, unfortunately, more Christians need to be doing that rather than thinking they're smarter than everybody else. So um, so here we are. This is what I opened to. And as God is my witness, I just opened to this passage. Just open the Bible, 
And here I am in John chapter 12. And this is what it says. Now, while I'm reading this, and you should probably follow along with me, starting in verse 35, remember what we talked about in that last video of the parable of the 10 virgins, okay? This is what it says. Then Jesus said to them, a little while longer, the light is with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of the light. Now, guys, any of you who watched my most recent video about the 10 virgins, um, you will know that when talking about the lamps and the light and the lamps, I almost spoke verbatim this passage and I didn't even know that I was quoting the Bible. All right. I had said where this passage where it says, um, he who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. I literally said that in the video regarding to the lamps, those who did not have oil in their lamps, the purpose of the lamp is to get you through the darkness. If you don't have a lamp, you're walking in darkness and you don't know where you're going. You can't perceive. That's what I said in the video, guys. And I don't ever remember even reading this passage. It certainly wasn't on my mind when I was making that video. And here the Lord brings me right to this passage as I'm sitting here doubting, asking him to speak to me. I open right to that passage, talking about Jesus being the light, that he is the light. Let me repeat it again. He says, a little while longer, the light is with you. He's referring to himself there as the light. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of the light. Now, it's important for you guys to understand that Jesus was speaking to the Jews here. He's talking about the fact that he is about to die on the cross. That's why he's saying, while you have the light, while you still have the chance, believe in the light. He's speaking to the Jews here don't believe me, keep reading in this chapter. Let's go down to verse 37, right after he talks about the light. But although he had done so many signs before them, who are the them, they did not believe in him, that the word of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spoke, Lord, who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore, they could not believe, because Isaiah said, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them. This is a prophecy from the book of Isaiah about the rejection of the Messiah by the unbelieving Jews. Guys, when I made that video, when the Lord gave me that information, because I didn't know, I didn't have that understanding of the parable of the 10 virgins. God gave that to me suddenly when he showed me the cross-reference between Luke 13 and Matthew 25. I didn't, you know, a month ago, two months ago, I didn't understand that about the 10, the, the 10 virgins. He showed that to me suddenly. And then I started to doubt. And here he brings me to John chapter 12, where everything I said in that video that he revealed to me, here it is laid out in the same order, plain as can be. First, starting out with the light and walking in darkness, which is a reference to the lamps. Then he goes on and he says, believe in the light while you have the light so that you may become sons of the light. Then he goes and tells you who he's talking to. He says that they did not believe that they fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah about the Jews, that their hearts were hardened, their eyes were blinded so that they couldn't see. And then he, can, then he continues on. Let's listen. Verse 42. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Then Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. I come as a light into the world. And whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him, for I do not judge the world, but to save, for I did not come to the world to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command, and what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, 
just as the Father has told me, so I speak. He says that the one who believes is the one who has the light, but they do not believe and they walk in darkness. That's what he says right here in John chapter 12. That's what the Lord gave me about the 10 virgins, guys. Guys, I don't remember reading this passage. I certainly hadn't read it any time recently because it was not in my memory and I don't remember reading this. And here I am sitting in my car asking the Lord to speak to me because I'm in doubt and he opens me right up to this chapter. Guys, I'm gonna tell you what. The Lord is speaking in this day and in this hour to his children in a way that I have never seen before. I mean, God has always been present, but man, here lately, he just seems <laughs> in your face present, pouring out his spirit, speaking, revealing things, showing people, not just me, ain't nothing special about me. God is not a respecter of persons. He's doing it to all of my brothers and sisters. I'm seeing it. We're all, you know, hearing things, seeing things, understanding things that we didn't understand before. He's just very present here. And we're all under spiritual attack as well. Because it seems like every time I get the increase, there's that stumbling block waiting for me right around the corner. Every time the, the Lord gives me something, the enemy's sitting there right around the corner waiting to kill, steal, and destroy. And I know many of you guys are under the same kind of spiritual attacks. But I'm going to tell you what, guys, I was doubting but I don't doubt anymore because the Lord gave me that. He gave me that. And there ain't no way that's coincidence because I didn't know this. I had not read this passage. And here I am doubting what I, what I brought to you in that last video. And boom, he reveals to me that flesh and blood has not revealed this to me, but the Father from heaven. So uh, I hope this encourages you guys. Please understand that you are a child of God. You are a son of the light. You don't need no man to teach you. You don't need to go to seminary. You don't need, you know, your, your pastor to help you. To under you can go to the word of God. You can pray to the spirit of God and he will show you. And you can tell those lying little devils that are, that are whispering in your ear and, and, and putting lies in your ear. You can remind them of their future because you are a child of the light. All right, guys, I love you guys.